Hi everyone and welcome to my lesson on pop culture, pop art, and color theory. Um, first I'm going to tell you a little bit about the background of color theory and then I'm going to guide you through a little bit of the history of pop culture and pop art in order to show you a fun and interesting art project that incorporates the two together. So first as I said I'm going to show you a little bit about color theory and then I'm going to guide you through the history of pop art and pop culture and then demonstrate the project for you guys. So before we begin, the supplies necessary to make the project include one large sheet of colored paper, preferably bright, at least seven different sheets of colored brightly paper, a pair of scissors, paint brushes, a ruler, a glue stick, and some black acrylic paint. So today we will begin our lesson with color theory. As I said, you may be asking yourself, what is color theory? Essentially, color theory is a guidance to the mixing of colors and the visual effects that take place when certain colors appear together. So there are three categories of color. Well, we first have our primary colors, consisting of red, yellow, and blue, and those three colors make up all the other colors in the color spectrum. And then we have our secondary colors, which are made when you combine two of the three primary colors. And so those consist of purple, green, and orange. So blue and yellow make green, yellow and red make orange, and red and blue make purple. And then we have our tertiary colors. And these colors are really fun because they're made from the combination of both primary and secondary colors. So you have blue, green, red, orange, and other pretty colors in the spectrum. And this brings us to our beautiful color palette, which we will be focusing on today, which is what I like to refer to as the pop art color palette. And those are very bright colors consisting of pinks, purples, oranges, blues, and all the vivid colors in between. So now we're faced with the question, what is pop art? And so pop art was a movement in the art world which took place in the 50s and early 60s when conformity in style and new forms of media were all the rage. So its primary focus was on the mass production of images depicting popular culture, items, celebrity, and other popular trends. So the artist's intentions were very ironic and witty, creating fun, color-filled images of highly recognizable people and objects. So one of the more famous artists you might know from the pop art movement is Andy Warhol. And Andy Warhol was initially a commercial artist with a background in illustration and advertising. So you may recognize him for his popular rendition of the famous icon Marilyn Monroe, his depiction of the ever so popular banana, and his designing of the Campbell Soup Can logo. Another great artist from the pop art era was Roy Lichtenstein. And Lichtenstein's work has a very comic book-like style to it. He used the pop art brightly colored palette with thick bold lines emphasizing non-realistic traits. And his images were often comical and very dramatic. Now, the process used to create the mass production of these images that pop, art, pop artists use is known as silkscreen printing. So using a machine, you place the ink on the screen, lay your paper beneath the screen, pull the ink down and sift over to the paper, and then you lift the screen up and you have your final image. And there you have it. So after you're finished, you'll have your rendition of your own pop art color theory picture. I hope you guys enjoyed the lesson as much as I did. Um, have a great day.